Hello, I am Maddox Mortensen, and today I will be showing you how to collect every famous Witches and Wizards card for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for PlayStation. Ginny tells Harry to guide the puffskin over to the bushes and it will eat them. She tells you that you might even be able to find a famous Witches and Wizards card, and you would assume that she means that you might be able to find one in one of the bushes. But strangely, she gives you the card after the puffskin has eaten enough bushes, so I guess she is just a fucking liar. Or maybe she is just a little starstruck by her crush on famous little Harry Potter. Although, if he is friends of her brother Ron, how cool could he possibly be? The card she gives you is Felix Summerby, the inventor of cheering charms. To collect the Yardley Platt card, you will have to beat the gnome throwing high score. What you have to do is press the square button to start spinning and press it repeatedly to build its speed. For targets farther away, you will want to build up more speed to cover the distance. But for targets closer to you, you won't want to build up as much speed because you don't want to overshoot the target. Once you reach the fence, you will start spinning in the spot. Press triangle when the arrow is pointed in the direction of where you want the knob to be thrown. Make sure you don't press the triangle button too late or you will get dizzy or whatever and fall over. The farther you throw the gnome, the more points you will be awarded. In addition to this, you will also be awarded bonus points for hitting one of the five targets. Hitting the wasp hive will give you 250 points, the car will give you 200, the pond 150, and the phone box 100. Collect enough points and you will get the Yardley Platt card. Serial Goblin Killer? Holy shit! Remember that goblins are good in this game? This guy must be like the Jeffrey fucking Dammer of Goblin Murder. Why would they put that in this game? They literally went from, this guy invented cheering charms, to, this guy was a fucking serial killer. Jesus H. Christ. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Ginny has wandered off and you need to find her before going to Diagon Alley to collect school supplies. While you are busy finding her, you can collect the card for Hengist of Woodcroft, who founded the village of Hogsmeade. You can find it by crossing the log across the river and turning left. Move the crates into place with your knockback jinx and then climb and jump across them to reach the area ahead with the card. The next card is potentially the hardest to collect because unless you are holding right at the right time, you are going to automatically go down the left tunnel. Make sure you hold right to go down the right tunnel, and make sure you don't miss the damn card. You will pick up Dorcas Well, beloved, founder of the Society for Distressed Witches. What about distressed wizards? Do they not matter? Sexist. This one is pretty easy. Go up the staircase in the grand foyer. Turn left and go through the door. Move through the corridor and turn the bookcase. Make your way through the area and collect the card. Bertie Bot. Inventor of Bertie Bot's Every Flavor of Beans. I wouldn't exactly call jelly beans an invention. Maybe he came up with the recipe for those jelly beans. I don't think you can invent candy. The card for Gaspard Shingleton can be found behind the wall on the way to the front hall. This card is slightly more complicated to collect. There's a stack of steps. Hit it with your knockback jinx and it will move in the direction you shot it. To your right as you come in the area is another area through a door with two suits of armor. To the left through another door you will find an area of rats. Defeat the suits of armor and the rats. This will unlock the door that was straight ahead when you first entered the larger area behind the wall. Go into this area and pull the lever. This will raise a platform outside. Another suit of armor will be waiting for you. Dispatch it and climb onto the bookcase. Jump onto the platform and then onto the platform ahead and collect the card. Gaspard Shingleton, celebrated inventor of the self-stirring cauldron. The next card is simple enough. It is behind a bookcase near Defense Against the Dark Arts by the stairs. Move the blocks into place with a knockback jinx and climb up them and the flying table to reach the area above. Go through the door, which will take you onto the roof. Move across the roof to collect the card. Jacinda Sykes, first person to fly across the Atlantic on a broomstick.
The next card can be found by going through a bookcase near Dumbledore's office. Make your way through the area and go through the door. Climb up the steps and then jump to the other side. Climb onto the bookcase, jump to the other side and then stand on the pressure pad. This will trigger some vent to release some weird bubble current thing. Backtrack and leave by the door you came in by. Climb the steps and jump onto the landing ahead. Use the bubble current thing to traverse the area to a landing on the other side where there is a pressure pad and a potted plant. Use Wingardium Leviosa to move the plant onto the pressure pad. This will cause every flavor beans to fall to the ground and the card is seemingly already on the floor so I don't know where it is meant to have come from. Perhaps they fucked up the animation, I don't know. Jump down and collect the card. Cassandra Vablatsky, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. The next card can be found behind the bookcase near the girl's bathroom. Defeating the two suits of armor will unlock the door to your right. Go through it and defeat the next suit of armor. Climb onto the bookcase, jump onto the moving platform and use it to jump across the landing ahead. Go through the door on your right and move across the beam and to the walkway. When you reach the end, jump across the area ahead to collect the card. Adalbert Waffling, famous magical theoretician. Oh, I am so bored! Win all the house cups and shields to collect the next card. It will be waiting for you in the Gryffindor common room. Godric Gryffindor, Hogwarts co-founder, gave his name to a Hogwarts house. To collect the next card, you have to help Hagrid remove gnomes from his pumpkin patch. Do just as you did before when denoming Ron's garden at the burrow. Hit the bird feeder for 250 points, the scarecrow for 200, the wooden bucket for 150, and the weird purple thing for 100. Beat the high score to get the card. Edgar Strolger, inventor of the Sneakoscope. The next card can be found in a library. Enter the library, walk past the bookcase on your left, and turn the bookcase against the wall on your left. Move through the corridor and go through the first archway on the right. Turn the bookcase that is against the wall and hidden behind other bookcases. The card is in the air and you will have to target it and then shoot it with your knockback jinx in order to bring it down to the ground. Once you have done so, move forwards and collect the card. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. To collect the next card, go down the stairs next to the fat lady's portrait and go through the bookcase on the right. Go through the door on the left. Cast Verdamilius to create platforms that can be used to traverse the quintessential bottomless pit in the middle of the room. Turn the bookcase against the wall on your left and collect the card. Montague Knightley, Wizard Chess Champion 1506-1588 oh, oh god, so many cards. I can't take it anymore. Oh god, if you think it's boring watching this shit, just imagine how hard it is trying to play through it. The next card can be found behind the bookcase next to Lockhart's office. Make your way through the area and cast Verdamilius to produce another couple of platforms. Use them to make your way to the landing ahead of you. Cast Verdamilius to produce a table, which seems to be the only table in this game which is incorporeal. Climb on top of it and jump to the landing ahead. Make your way around the corner and jump down to the area below. Keep making your way through the corridor and collect the card. Daisy Dodderidge, first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. They really must have been running out of ideas for that one. To get the next card, you need to get an A grade in Lockhart's private lesson. Lockhart says to watch his expensive wand as it moves, but really you are watching a white line with a circle at the end move. The buttons of the controller are arranged on the screen and you have to press the corresponding button to wherever the circle is. Try to time it so that you can hear chimes. This is one of the harder card challenges and to be honest it feels like bullshit because it is damn near impossible to get a perfect score and I swear I am not doing anything wrong. 
However, if you do well enough and get an A grade, then you will be given the card for Crispin Kronk. Said to Azkaban for keeping sphinxes in his back garden. How the hell do you expect to get away with hiding sphinxes in your back garden? I guess that is why he was caught. Maybe that is just something that dark wizards do. They try to hide really big shit in really poor hiding spots. Maybe Grindelwald originally went to Azkaban for trying to hide the Great Pyramid of Giza behind a fucking tree. Maybe Voldemort got into trouble for trying to hide the Empire State Building in his bathtub and trying to turn it into a horcrux or something. Crispin Kronk, what a fucking dumbass. I hope the Dementors raped him in the showers of Azkaban. The next card is found in the Forbidden Forest past the bridge and behind the wall. Cast Verdamilius on the wall first and then go through it. Defeat the spider, cast Incendio on the cobweb and collect a card for a man who we already know very well in the area ahead. Albus Dumbledore. Enough said. Five cards can be collected from Fred and George in the Gryffindor common room. Each costs a total of 50 every flavor beans. The cards you can collect are Ignatia Wildsmith, the witch who invented flu powder, Greta Catchlove, offer of Charm Your Own Cheese, Chauncey Aldrich, first known victim of Dragonpox, Herpo the Fowl, first known creator of the Basilisk, and Paracelsus, greatest of all medieval alchemists. The last three cards are the three remaining house founders and can be collected by beating the wizard duelists. Beat the Hufflepuff champion to collect Helga Hufflepuff, beat the Ravenclaw champion to collect Rowena Ravenclaw, and beat the Slytherin champion to collect Salazar Slytherin. Oh, you be getting fucked up, bitch! You be getting fucked up, bitch! You be getting fucked up! Yeah! I suppose I'd better give you a famous witch and wizards card then. Here, have this one. I've got another like it anyway. If you had another card just like it, then why the hell did I just have to duel you to get the card? I just whooped your ass! You couldn't have just given me the spare card to prevent an ass whooping? Dumbass. Wow, that's all of that. If you would like to see more of my content where I waste my time completing pointless tasks in old video games no one cares about, then subscribe to my channel to be notified of additional content. Also, Stay tuned for my review of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for PlayStation, which I'll probably upload in about a million years, because apparently it takes me forever to upload additional content, even though this is basically my full-time job. Thanks for watching.